Violin Girl, back for episode two. I'm so excited that you joined me today because we're going to learn the parts of your violin. If you know the parts of your violin, you'll be better equipped to use it. So first, let's suit up and take on our violins. All right, always remember to hold it by the neck, just like we talked about last week, because that's the safest way. And I'm going to go ahead and put on my shoulder rest. Now, while I'm pointing out the different parts on my violin, I want you to point them out on your own. All right, the first part we're going to learn about on our violins is the scroll, which I think is the prettiest part. It's the part right up here up top. Below the scroll, we have the tuning pegs, which are used to tune your instrument with. Now, these can only be touched by your teacher, okay, because if you play with them, you could break part of your superpower, which is one of your strings. All right, now here we have the peg box, which holds your pegs in place. Below the peg box, we have the nut, which you can feel is a little ridge right down here. Then we have the fingerboard, which is the big, long, black part here. That's where we place our fingers to make all the different pitches. Behind the fingerboard, we have the neck, which as we learned last week, is always where we hold our violin from. Below the neck, we have the upper bout and the C bout, which looks like a letter C. Next, we have the bridge, which is my favorite part of my violin because it holds up the strings above the fingerboard. We also have the F holes, which look like the letter F, and this is where our sound comes out of our instrument. Inside the F holes, if you look very closely, you will see a sound post inside. And that is very important part of your violin because it helps the sound to be produced. Then we have the chin rest, which is where we rest our chin or really our jaw while we're playing. Then we also have the shoulder rest, which is removable. You attach this every time before you play. Then next we have the fine tuners which are similar to these tuning pegs up here, but they help me to tune your violin when it's almost in tune and it just needs a little tweak, okay? Then we have the tailpiece, which is held in place by the end button on the bottom. Next, let's learn about the parts of your bow. Now, this is not a bow and arrow, okay? I know we're superheroes here, but we have to be careful with our bows, all right? Always remember to tighten your bow just a little bit, only enough for a small pencil to fit through the very middle, okay? So let's start down here at the end. This is the tip of our bow, and it's pointy, just like a tip, okay? Then we have the stick, which looks exactly like it sounds. I'm sure that will be a hard one to remember. Then we have the bow hairs, which we never ever touch with our fingers. We have to be extra careful with them because the oils in our fingers can damage the bow hairs. They are very sensitive. They're actually made out of horse hair. Next, we have the winding, which is close to the end here. And then we have the adjusting screw. This is what we use to tighten and loosen our bow. Righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Then we have the frog, which is where we hold it. Okay, looks like a frog's eye right in the middle there. And lastly, we have the ferrule, which is the little silver part next to the frog. Oh, I forgot! The most important part of my violin is my beautiful ribbons with the beads hanging down from the bottom. When you learn all the different parts on your violin and your bow, you might get to earn one of those. So that concludes our episode two. Hope to see you next time with Violin Girl.